إذ أوى الفتية إلى الكهف فقالوا ربنا آتنا من لدنك رحمة فقالوا ربنا آتنا من لدنك رحمة وهيئ لنا من أمرنا رشدا After attack in Rome, Christianus, the Roman Emperor, sat on the royal throne and took the reins of government. Foolish people accepted to place him in a god and submitted as slaves to his power. At that time, six wise and competent young men decided to leave their country and start a simple life in one of the remotest parts of the desert. They entered an opening in the mountain and fell asleep in that cave after saying their prayers. While sleeping, a pleasant breeze was caressing their bodies and the sunlight sometimes penetrated inside the cave. But regardless of all these things, they went to a deep sleep which lasted for 300 years. During this long sleep, they did not even wake up for a second. Finally, after 300 years, they woke and started asking one another how long they had been sleeping. Some of them said they had slept for one whole day, and some believed they had slept for half a day. But what astonished them most was the destruction, withering of the trees, as well as their great hunger. One of them voluntarily wore the shepherd's clothes and went to the town. When he got there, he went to a baker's, picked up some pieces of bread, and gave his money to the shop owner. The baker got the money, and after taking a look at it, carefully said, you young men, have you found a treasure somewhere around? The young man answered, Why, this is the money I've received in exchange for the data I sold the day before yesterday. The baker did not believe his words and took him to the king. In the king's presence, the young man narrated whatever had happened to him and his friends. The king answered, We shall come with you to see your friends. This is the only way we can make sure of the truthfulness of your words. They set out for the cave, and when they got there, the young man said, Inside the cave alone, and tell them about this story, so that they won't get frightened. Then you can enter the cave. The young man went in and told his friends about what had happened in the town, but they did not believe him either, and thought, they were caught in a trap. So they started praying and asking God to return them to their previous position. God appeared and made them fall asleep once again. After a while, the king and his agents, having noticed that the absence of young men had taken long, entered the cave. But owing to God's will, the men of the cave were hidden from their sight. Following this, the king ordered to set up a building in that place for worshipping and praising God. Young Muslims come to me and say, MashaAllah, brother, we're praying in high school. Brother, you have to pray in high school. But what I would like to see are high school students who address the drug problem in North America. High school students who are going to give backpacks to the poor people in their neighborhood and offer supplies to young children that will last them for one year. Go and teach young people how to read. Because the first verse, first verse sent in the Quran is Iqra. Be relevant. Be a solution. Don't ask what Isna can do for you, but what you can do for Isna. Don't ask what Islam is going to do for you, but what are you going to do for this deen? Lives, we the Muslim youth have been told that we should have fun when we're young and practice Islam when we get older. Allah will ask us on the day of judgment, what did you do? And we have no excuse. We the youth can change this world. We have Islam, we have the creativity, and we have the energy. If we do not work for Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will replace us with a generation that loves Him more than us, fears Him more than us. The Sahabas were our ages and they did it and we can do it.